fish and water are seen as public property. However, man is slowly destroying most of the world's rivers and their ability to support life. Their environmental integrity and the ecosystems that depend upon them are in jeopardy. Declining salmon stocks, water shortages and global climate change has resulted in greater awareness of the state of our nation's rivers, concern for the future viability of watersheds and for the survival of our salmon and steelhead the provincial government initiated the Living Rivers Trust Fund to provide seed funding for river conservation. The vision of the Living Rivers Trust Fund is to create a legacy for the province based on healthy watersheds, sustainable ecosystems and thriving communities. Our rivers are one of our most, our most treasured assets. Not only do they provide recreation and, uh, and relaxation as it does here in the summer, but they're obviously an important component uh, uh, of our salmon bearing uh, streams and rivers uh, produce the uh, produce the salmon that are, are are iconic here in British Columbia. Our government committed uh, tripled its commitment in May 2006 to the Living River Society, adding 14 million dollars to uh, build the Living Rivers Trust to 21 million dollars. Living Rivers Georgia Basin Vancouver Island was formed to manage five million dollars of that fund. The program that I'm currently um, working on the Living Rivers Trust Fund for Vancouver Island and Georgia Basin is really uh, focusing on what we call water for fish. Water for fish really um, is, the, is a response by government uh, provincially to, to step forward and, and come up with the tools that will allow us to adapt to climate change. Through partnerships, the LRGBVI focuses on improving water flows for fish, restoring river and estuarine habitats, enriching stream productivity, encouraging community participation, and facilitating adaptive water management plans and pilot governance projects designed to lessen impacts of climate change on high-priority watersheds. And Living Rivers Georgia Basin has many projects, but they're all involved partners. Like, we don't do anything by ourselves. It, there has to be an acceptance in the community, there has to be community involvement in every project. Um, there has to be enough money so the project can be implemented properly. Key initiatives include making better usage of stored water to benefit salmonids throughout the dry summer months. In the city of Nanaimo, water stored at Westwood Lake can now be used to improve fish habitat conditions for salmon and trout. With support from Living Rivers Georgia Basin, Vancouver Island and from Fisheries and Oceans Canada, the city installed a siphon from the lake that will provide increased flows into Darrow Creek, the Millstone River and the Millstone's Bowen Park side channel constructed in 2007. The bypass channel through Bowen Park was designed to develop a self-sustaining coho run of 3,000 fish. The channel has enabled salmon and trout access to the upper watershed. Thousands of juvenile coho are present in the side channel, and water released from Westwood Lake will add critical late summer flow. River and estuary habitat restoration projects also receive support from the program, such as the Stoltz Bluff Remediation Project on the Cowichan River. Decades of urban and industrial development led to increased bank instability, erosion and sedimentation in the lower reaches of the Cowichan River, resulting in a significant reduction in salmon egg fry survival. Partners work collectively to isolate the glacial cliff from the stream flows that were constantly eroding its base. It was the largest in-stream construction project ever undertaken on Vancouver Island. An 800-meter long riprap berm now protects the bluff from the river. Sediment contributions from this site have been reduced by at least 90 percent. I think Living Rivers is, uh, I think it's got a real uh, collaborative-based approach with the community. Um, industry, business, uh, First Nations, there's a huge partnership there and it's looking at real projects on the ground and making a difference. It's, uh, it's a lot of action and the projects I've been involved with have been um, some of the most uh, um, exciting projects to be participating in in my career because they've come together uh, quickly without a lot of red tape and all the players around the table and they just actually happen out there and sometimes it's a lot of talk and not a lot of action and Living Rivers is, uh, is really the opposite of that. The program also supported side and off-channel habitat restoration projects on the lower reaches of the Cowichan River. The, there was diking that was constructed along the Cowichan River in the late 70s and it isolated a lot of these habitats from the main river as a result once productive areas for fish and wildlife uh, became uh, dry and, and uh, the salmon couldn't access them. Living Rivers has ensured that community-led projects such as those undertaken on the Englishman River on Vancouver Island can continue.
the English River um, has quite a long history of uh, uh, restoration and preservation by ordinary people. The uh, Georgia Basin Vancouver Island Living Rivers Fund has stepped in and by supporting uh, supporting our program we've been able to keep a steering committee together with partners from federal and provincial government and industry and community all working together on healing their watershed. We've been able to um, bring in some new strategic projects like bringing in the nearshore into our estuary and bringing that work into the watershed. Previously a definition of watershed included only the river. It's been great having Living Rivers Georgia Basin uh, partnership with stewardship groups involved with PSF. We've now been able to uh, more quickly address the priorities of these stewardship groups. Fanny Bay Salmon Enhancement Group, the volunteers, they work with 22 streams in our area. Since uh, Fanny Bay started in 1995, I have seen funding agencies sunset, both federal and provincial, and it is just so wonderful to have Living Rivers partner with Pacific Salmon Foundation to be the backbone of what we need from different agencies. We can get the help from DFO, but we need the funding to help with our projects. Salmon aren't going to make it if they don't have people. And people are the key. And getting volunteerism and communities involved, that's the solution to salmon sustainability in the future. Getting people interested and motivated and active to do things like this. The vision of the Living Rivers Georgia Basin Vancouver Island program is healthy watersheds and sustainable fish populations through shared responsibility, stewardship, and wise use of water. Thank you.